So for today's video, we're just asking the universe what is important for you to know right now. So I'm very excited for today's reading. I've already recorded and the answers were very interesting. And I've used a few different things today. So we've got the pendulum. So you can start thinking of a yes or no question. We've got our three piles. And we've got the charms with the focus palm, the letters and the numbers. So lots of information there. And I'll just give you a close up of each pile. And then I want to explain to you the moons on top here. So the first pile for group number one is manifestation. For group two, we've got blessings. And for group three, dreams. So whichever image or word or moon is calling your attention, that will be your pile. And these moons are from the Moon Wisdom Crystal Set by Goddess Provisions. And this is really nice. And I'm excited to use this as an oracle because you can just open this up, close your eyes and pick out a moon and follow its guidance. So it includes a little guidebook here, which is very helpful. And you could, you could put this in your purse. Like it's nice. It's really a cute size as well. So it's very portable and it has a lot of information though. So it has, well, we'll start here. It's got all sorts of rituals on the back and information about different tools that you need, as well as information about each moon. So there's lots of different ways that you can use this oracle, and I plan to show you all sorts of different ways in the future. But what I like about it is it has a guidance message as well as a mantra. So it's very interesting. So to, for today's moons, I went with the waxing gibbous moon the full moon and the waning gibbous moon. So I'll explain what each moon means in the readings and you might find some guidance there. So yeah, very excited for today's reading. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Liz. We're happy to have you. Um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button as that does help my channel quite a bit. I thank you guys so much for everything, for all of your support. You guys are amazing. I hope you enjoyed today's reading. I would love to hear what words you come up with, with the charms, um, if it resonates, what makes sense for you. Uh, and I will link these moon wisdom crystals in the description. So thank you to Goddess Provisions. If you've seen my self-care video, the self-care oracle, that's by Goddess Provisions. And I absolutely love that oracle. It's what prompted me to do my self-care video. And I'm very excited about these. I plan to use these a lot. So very exciting. So we'll start with number one. I'll leave the timestamps below. So one, two, and three, we'll start with number one. Hi, group one. So if you chose the manifestation card and waxing gibbous moon, then this is your message. So I'll give you a moment. You can start thinking of your question for the pendulum. We'll put this aside though, and let's get into it. So I left it open today. I just want to know what messages there are for you. So we'll just put this aside and I'll read you your mantra for waxing gibbous moon when we do your cards. First, let's pull you some cards. Let's see what's happening. So you can focus on a question, something that you're wondering about. Group one. So you've got the magician. Isn't that interesting? You've got manifestation and the magician. That's really nice. got five of cups and the emperor so let's get you a few oracle cards to go with that and then of course we'll pull your charms and we'll ask your pendulum question you've got beginnings let me just aim this down for you. Get a nice look here. Okay. Let's get you a flowers of the flowers of the night oracle. Clarity.
hold your vision, fix moon. Okay, so I'm already sort of seeing what's happening. <clears throat> you, I think, so I'll tell you what I'm getting as a whole and then we can go through cards and I can sort of show you, tell you about those cards. So I am getting that you may, maybe recently, maybe currently, but you set off on a goal. You've got some visions in mind. You've got some manifestations. You've got some things that you want to accomplish. And I think when it started, there was a great deal of confidence. There was, you felt very capable, you felt good about it, but something must have happened that sort of has really discouraged you. You feel like you've, you've reached a disappointment. There was a letdown, either maybe you were manifesting a job and then you found out you didn't get it. Maybe you were manifesting a partner and something didn't work out. Maybe you were just feeling very hopeful and very, you know, you were feeling the magic. You were manifesting things in, in your life and then something happened. And it sort of bursted your bubble and you're feeling discouraged. So that's what this card is about. So it's about when you experience a disappointment. But the thing with this card is silver lining. There's always something else available. And I like this particular card too because it shows the ship. So I think of that as manifestation. Something else coming in. Uh, so the Five of Cups talks about, yes, disappointment, of course. But there could be something else or it could have happened for a reason in some instances that it led you to something else so all is not lost but sometimes we can focus on that one disappointment and forget that there's still other things available so then you have the emperor so the emperor and the magician are both so confident so capable organized they have a very um strong I guess work ethic too, especially with the emperor. So very structured energy, working very hard. So what I see here is that you are being called to not quit, okay? So if you are manifesting something and it didn't go the way you had planned, that could be for a reason. So I'm sort of getting it's a good reason. It's a good time to put that to good use, to put that energy to good use. So something else could still happen. Because then we have hold your vision, fixed moon. So don't give up. Like, you, you know, you're going to encounter these rocky times, these challenging times, but don't give up. Fixed moon, stay fixed, fixated on your goal. Don't quit. Just because, you know, you might have hit a, a bit of a rough patch, don't quit. Clarity. So this could mean that maybe this situation provided some clarity for you. Maybe it helped you in a way. That's sort of what I'm feeling here is that whatever this is actually might be positive in the long run. Now, Five of Cups can talk about all sorts of disappointments. So it's going to be different for each of you. But in this case, because of the cards that we have with it, I think that whatever the situation is, it happened, but it's saying don't let that discourage you. Keep moving, keep going, because this could actually lead to a new beginning. You've got the new door here, new moon beginnings. So this disappointment, this loss, whatever happened is going to lead you to something else. And it could be that you're seeing that now, you have clarity now, you're understanding this now, but it is encouraging you to keep moving forward. Don't give up on your manifestation. I think you picked this pile for a reason. You know, don't quit. So let's see what your mantra is. If you chose waxing gibbous moon, so we'll, it's really, I like this because this fits right into the little bag. So it's really nice. Okay. So your mantra is, I fully embody the magic of being human. And that's exactly what the magician is all about. You know, knowing that you have so much power, you have more power than you give yourself credit for. And you are capable of making anything happen. You have the tools necessary to make anything happen. So let's just look closely at this magician. I really like just the confidence. That's sort of what I think the cards are trying to get you back to this point. Because it's very like feeling capable, feeling very powerful, maybe not so much. Now the emperor could also, for some of you, just represent receiving guidance from um, an emperor type figure. So it doesn't have to be a male masculine energy. It could be female. Emperor energy is just... So just to show you here, we've got the empress, which is soft, nurturing, motherly energy. Then you have the emperor. So there's a beeping outside. Then you have the emperor, which is very um, matter of fact, might come off sometimes too matter of fact. They're very about structure, organization, planning. 
So to me, it's almost like maybe something that will help get you back on track, help you feel better, could have to do with that emperor energy of feeling capable, organizing, having a plan, sticking to that, having self-discipline is really important too with the emperor. So that's what I'm seeing for you, group one. Let's take a look at what your charms say, and then we can ask your pendulum the question here. We'll just put your cards with your manifestation card. We'll keep it close just in case we want to look at it. Let's get your pendulum. So you might not be able to see these. I'll, I'll read them to you. Make it straight. Okay. If I seem tired, guys, I'm not. I'm just very, I'm honestly just very relaxed. <laughs> I had a good sleep, which I was happy. So you have a yes, okay? So your answer is yes, so that's exciting. Yes, I'm just, I, honestly, I was just like, I want to hang out on YouTube. I want to make a video. So I thought we would just do a nice general reading. So let's get you some numbers. So these could be important numbers for manifestations. of it too is I'm trying to get off the iced coffee. I've, I've been drinking iced coffee and it's been affecting my sleep so I'm trying to just relax today so I can have a good sleep tonight. Okay so we've got two eights, 11, 12, 13, two four, you got two twelves there and then you have a one. Okay so those are your numbers. So eight and twelve seem to be especially significant. Let's check out your letters. I'll just aim this down for you. There. And I have my little pointer today. A lot of you like that. And I get that frustration when you're trying to manifest something or make something happen or you have a goal and you experience a disappointment but the key is to not let that throw you completely off your goal because it's going to happen that's when you sort of have to find that strength and that discipline too which comes along with the emperor that's that's sometimes when we we're feeling discouraged, that's all that's going to sort of get us back into the swing of things. And you'll get your momentum again. You'll feel you'll feel that magic again, I promise. So I'll let you guys work with the letters. So we'll use the focus palm today. So anything that lands in the focus palm is especially important for you. Look at that hope. So these messages might have to do with the cards that we got. They might be something entirely different. So I'll look at them first. I'll read them how I like to read them, and then I'll show you a few of them. So let me just flip these over. So we have Taurus energy here. Oh, King of Wands. So much powerful manifestation energy with you. Oh, so this is, these are getting kind of, harder to read. I might have to get some new ones. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense too. So interesting, you have the friendship attached to travel next to the passport. So the Eiffel Tower can represent travel. It can also represent perspective. So this issue might have to do with a friend for some of you. Lots of friendship here. Both of these are friendship, having fun, more manifestation. <laughs> Look at that. We have like three messages, clear messages about manifestation and power. Because you had the manifestation card that you chose. You've got your magician 
um, symbol here, and then you also had the magician card. So your message is to keep going, like find that power again, recognize that you have it too, like you haven't lost it. Okay, so, okay, so I'll tell you what I'm getting here. The universe <laughs> is trying to tell you to, I guess the best word is don't feel discouraged. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Take back the power. Take back. We can't control everything. We can't control what other people do. We can't control what happens, but we can choose how we react to it. And that's what it's saying. I feel like I'm almost getting the sense like it's it's trying to shake you like, okay, let's let's do this. Like, let's get excited again. We can make this happen. You know, um, it's acknowledging too that it's an emotional situation. Of course, it's saying it's complicated. Like we know it's a complicated situation, but it's only a matter of time. Like things will improve. Um, so very interesting. So in the focus palm, we've got the little cuckoo clock. Okay. So I like that because to me, that's like a wake up call, right? Because I have all sorts of charms that talk about time, but the cuckoo clock, you can't miss, right? It makes a loud noise. And that's part of what the barking dog, I'm just like, the universe is like, okay, it happened. We experienced disappointment. We're just guiding you in a different direction. Like let's, let's, you know, be excited again. Now you have so much about travel. Okay. So this, for some of you, because these are general readings, for some of you, this could be something you were trying to manifest for your career. For some of you, it could be a relationship. For some of you, it could just be that you had a trip planned, you had a vacation planned. You know, things happening in the world prevented that from continuing. So it's saying, don't worry, it will happen again. You might just have to change some things, how you're planning some things, reorganize a few things. So that's what I'm getting. And you know what's interesting is the Five of Cups is so, it's watery, it's emotional. And the Emperor is not. The Emperor is very kind. Um, and good hearted, but not emotional. So it's almost saying to me, like, let's separate the emotions from the situation. You know, let's, let's see the facts. Let's look at the facts and not be too discouraged or not take something too personally is what I'm getting. So let me just show you a few of these charms here so you guys can take a look. So the pot can represent really bubbling up of emotions when things get really heated or overwhelming. The little magnifying glass here is all about focus, focusing in on the issue perhaps. You've got lots about travel because you have the passport, Eiffel Tower, and the travel. You could have been planning a trip with friends or you could be now. That might be separate from what the cards are even talking about because you have so much about friendship. You've got the friendship necklace, the friendship charm, which is about connectedness, support. And you also have the friendship, like this is about laughter, silliness, having a fun time. With a little star, which is about hope. Ice cream can be about nostalgia. Gentle. The gentle, I always think of like being gentle with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Like maybe the five of cups is talking about how like what you say to yourself. Like, are you being way too hard on yourself about whatever this is? We've got the four of wands here. Um, today I'm picking it up as four of wands. This means all sorts of things. This is how I read, but today immediately four of wands. So celebration, something to celebrate. This could indicate a wedding, an engagement, something to celebrate. So that's exciting. The little donut is about unique opportunities, special opportunities. But again, sometimes my charms will speak of different things. And I think a lot of you, this had to do with work, a job or something. Like it didn't work out with the eight of, eight of pentacles because, and I totally get the frustration, but the thing with the eight of pentacles is it calls for a lot of persistence. And it also tells you to not be hard on yourself too, because the eight of pentacles is a craftsmanship card. It's, it's practicing, it's learning as you go. So I'm getting the sense that you are so hard on yourself and I think once you maybe see that or recognize that you'll feel a lot clearer about things. You'll feel better. You'll be able to detach from the emotions of it and then get back on, you know, get back on, continue and then recognize your strength and your power. Like you haven't lost the goal. You haven't, do you know that anything I've ever set out to do, I've hit, I've hit bumps in the road, anything. Anything worth achieving, you're going to hit little bumps in the roads, minor disappointments, something didn't work out. And you can choose then to let it cancel the whole idea. We're done, we're not doing this. Or, you know, and I love this analogy because I think it makes a lot of sense. 
if you were driving along a road and you had a flat tire, would you get out of your car and slash the other three tires? Because that's what happens. When you let something like a disappointment discourage you or stop you from doing something, that's essentially like slashing your other three towers. When in fact, you could just accept it for like, okay, this has definitely set me back in my goal. It's definitely delayed things or it's made things more complicated, but I can still, I can still continue forward. So group one, I would love to hear if this resonated. I got the message very clear today. So I hope that this makes sense. Don't give up, hold your vision, okay? This is, you deserve this, don't give up. And I get for each of you, it's going to be different circumstances, but you can do this, just keep moving. There might be delays or things that make it complicated, but you can still continue, okay? So thank you so much for watching and we'll see I you next too. So if you chose the blessings card, then this is your message and the full moon crystal. We'll just put this aside. I'll read to you the message in a moment. So I really don't know what today's going to talk about. It's just going to be whatever message you need to hear today. And we have the pendulum, so you can start thinking of a yes or no question that you might want to ask. And of course, we have charms too. So the charms are where we're going to get sort of the most specific info or names, things like that. But let's see what's happening. Let's see what your message is. We'll get three tarot cards. And I've got some oracle cards to choose from. So you've got the three of wands. Okay, the seven of wands. Strength. Okay, so I already have your message. We will get some oracle cards, but I already see what's happening here very clearly. It's telling you, well, I'll get to, I'll, I'll get to that, but this is really interesting. I'm excited to see, oh, this one. I'm excited to see what the oracle cards have, have to add to this. Group two, message for group two. The unexpected. Flowers of the Night Oracle. Everything today is moon themed. Purpose. And lastly, we'll get to a monology. Confidence is your key to success. And look at that, you've got the strength card. So, so much Leo energy, which makes sense. And we just had our Leo full moon last night when I recorded this. Okay, little bead there. Okay. Okay, group two. So immediately, I already have the message here. The cards are seeing that you are currently maybe feeling overwhelmed. You might be at a point where you're feeling like, is this worth it? Is this effort worth it? Because we've got the three of wands and the three of wands is like that initial success, that first sign that something's happening. So I'm thinking that this either has to do with career or possibly just a project you've been working on. It could just be general feeling or energy. So what I mean is I think you're getting to the point where you're like, is this effort that I'm putting into this specific thing worth it? You know, am I going to see that outcome? But what I'm getting is yes. Um, it's t telling me that you need to keep that reason in your mind. You need to keep that goal in your mind because it's going to happen. And the other thing too is confidence. Your confidence and your strength is the key to success. New Moon and Leo. So you are entering a new phase here. You've got the unexpected. You're entering a new phase and it's really wanting you to not quit. Don't back down. Uh, the seven of wands, we sometimes feel like things are difficult um, or this goal might not be worth continuing, you know, different things like that. But um, it's definitely saying don't quit. Find that inner strength for sure, uh, especially with the strength card. I mean, that's all about inner strength and patience as well. Patience with yourself. 
um, in the situation. So Three of Wands does tell me though that you're going to soon start seeing that initial reward, that first sign of like, okay, I'm on the right track. But these are the first signs, that first initial progress or reward or whatever the case may be. You're seeing that but it's not always, you know, you're not really necessarily seeing the big picture or the final outcome. It's just that first little bit. So for instance, if you have, if you're self-employed and you own a business, this would be maybe clients showing interest in your business. If you have a YouTube channel, this would be maybe a spike in subscribers, different things like that, where you're not necessarily where you want to be, but you're starting to see, okay, this is working out, like this could work out, but it does take persistence. And this comes sometimes when we feel like, oh my gosh, it feels like the odds are against me in this, but you've got strength there. So it wants you to continue, stay strong. Confidence in yourself and the universe is the key to success here. So your message was very straightforward. Really excited to see what your pendulum says and your charms. But yeah, hold that purpose because something unexpected might happen. You know, this could be something you totally like an opportunity coming up out of nowhere and you're like, whoa, like, you know, it's just an opportunity, a change, a shift, something happening. Uh, let's just, I'm going to actually get the book because this one in particular I've gotten before for myself and it's very interesting. Okay. Wrong one. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Okay, no matter how well you plan, there is always room for the unexpected to occur. Build your resilience, seven of wands, as where occurrences can happen. A visitor you have not seen in a long time may re-enter your life. So, okay, let's just see, I'm just gonna quickly scan here. Oh, this is nice. So the energy and power of the blue moon can be best taken advantage of by setting intentions on these moons of things that you really want but have never felt could happen. I refer to big wishes, the almost miracle stuff we were both delighted and surprised about if it manifested. After setting blue moon intentions though, don't sit there hoping it will happen. Try to take clear practical steps towards these big seemingly far away intentions and help the universe along. And I like that because there's been times in the past where I've wanted something to happen and it's like, oh, okay, I hope this happens. But anything that I've really manifested, I've definitely had to, you know, we have to put work into it. We have to put effort into it. We have to help the universe along. Think of manifestation as a leg up from the universe, a little bit of a help, a boost. Um, but we can't sort of set a goal, have a dream, and then kind of wait for it, it to happen. I'm sure there is times when that happens. But ordinarily, if there's something that you want, it's going to take a lot of strength, a lot of confidence, and a lot of persistence. But if you keep going and you use these moments as motivation, you can get there. Hold your purpose. Don't quit. So I'm sensing there's something unexpected coming for you. And I'm really excited to hear what it is. I'm also really excited to hear what your pendulum says. So let's put these here so we have access to them. Let me just get your pendulum here. Okay. Yeah, I really like that unexpected card. I was happy to see that. So... And I, I like what it said. Okay, so give your question and... Try again. Make sure this is straight here. Group two's question. Yes. Okay, so your car or your crystal, I'm sorry. Where'd that go? Okay, so your mantra is I recognize the abundance of my life and give thanks for it. So that's another thing with manifestation or ha wanting something to happen. Um, give thanks for these moments, for the three of wands moments when you're like, yeah, you know, this happened. This was really motivating for me. Like, make sure you recognize that every little thing. Um, if you win, honestly, this is something I recommend and I can do a video on more manifestation things. In fact, I really would like to do that, but 
One thing to do, if you have a scratch ticket, you win $2, write it down. Honestly, there's something magic to writing it down. Um, and I'll, I'll explain it more in the video that I wanna do, but just r write that down, any good thing that happens. If you get a nice, if you're a YouTuber, you get a really nice comment that uplifts you, write it down. Maybe like copy the comment down. If someone um, does something nice for you, all, 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 everything, write it down. Quickly, I just wanted to mention too, the three of wands can talk about overseas visitors or far away visitors. And that unexpected card did mention that as well. So I just uh, wanted to mention that as well as sort of a side message. So you could be receiving news or info from someone far away, or it could just be that you, um, someone, a family member maybe connects with you, all sorts of different possibilities, but definitely unexpected. So very cool. Let's look into your charms. This is where we're going to get names and numbers and lots of really cool info. So I've got my little pointer there in case. Focus points. Let's get you some numbers. lately so you've got one two three okay so connecting with your cards that is progress right and it's all about the steps so the steps that we take first step second step third step we've got five seven another five so five fifty five let's see what else we have we've got eight seven and eight two ones and a twelve so i'll let you guys work with those thank you a lot of you are really helpful in the comments with numbers, number significance. I really appreciate that. You are so talented. Like the comments I see and interpretations of numbers and the words you guys find, like, oh, it's just awesome. And you guys often find your own connections and things, which I really appreciate because you know me that's my favorite thing is making connections like I did with that three of wands with the unexpected card okay so let's see okay so your letters you've got s x w o another x i l q i and e so those are your, we almost had my name we almost had liz okay Let's get you some charms and then I'll raise these up so you can get a better look. Think of that as moving forward. So I'll just quickly glance. So I've explained to you guys I like to read the charmed as a whole and get my message, and then I'll point some out to you. But let's just take a look here. I'll flip these over to make sure they're all in good sight for you. And that flipped to dream, which was, was that the name? Oh, you had the blessings card. For a second, I thought you had the dreams card. Okay, so let me read these as a whole, and then I'll point some out to you. So right away, I'm seeing that you, we've got the more, more Leo energy. The Leo energy is so powerful in this particular reading, because you've got that New Moon in Leo card and your Strength card. So you've got so much Leo energy here. It's great. Okay, so what I'm getting specifically, well, I'm getting two different things, but in particular, we're getting sort of support about the persistence. Keep going. It seems like it might not happen, just like that one card talked about, you know, the unexpected. It seems like sometimes, oh, okay, this is impossible. Like, you know, how, how could I possibly do this? But the key is to believe that it can happen. That's sort of like, that's a big part of manifestation. Um, so I've got 
it just sort of reiterating the messages of like, keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Now I'm getting a message of you getting discouraged by like certain things that are happening that are discouraging, you know, it could be other people's opinions, um, something in particular that was discouraging you. Someone maybe have, has said something discouraging. I'm not really sure what this is, but you might be feeling discouraged. Um, and that also would make sense with the seven of wands. Um, and I think you're getting to the point where you're like, oh my gosh, like when am I gonna see the payoff? When am I going to see that big outcome? But it's coming. Um, and But just remember to pay attention to those little things that happen. Don't ignore them because that might help some momentum. It might help you feel um, positive and, and you know, more patient with yourself too. We also have turtle spirit, which is slow and steady wins the race. That makes a lot of sense too. Um, keeping your eye on the prize as well with that eagle. Let me just look at your cards here. I love the purpose cards. To me, that's just like finding your purpose, sticking to your purpose. Being adaptable is important here. Now, the second message I mentioned, I have to go get a romance card because you've definitely got a romance message here because you've got Cupid, you've got Kiss. And what was the other one? That, oh, the loving you letter. So somebody, You've caught someone's eye. Let's find out what's happening. Two. Okay, so we've got playfulness. So playfulness, um, someone just might be in a flirty mood with you. Like it could be a friend possibly because we have a friend there. So it could be that a friend is sort of feeling flirty and interested in you. Um, it just says to cap recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So have fun too. Maybe you're just so focused on goals or whatever it is that you're you're not making time for fun um, or just to enjoy the enjoy the process. Because you know the destination is obviously wonderful, but sometimes the the path to get there can can have its really fun, rewarding moments. And when we look back, that's sometimes the best part for me. Anyways, I, I don't. Know. Everyone finds me very positive, but I, I mean I am. But that's sort of true though. Like when you go on a road trip, of course you want to get to your destination, but sometimes the ride, those little, just like your unexpected card talked about, those little unexpected stops or stopping for ice cream, just this is an analogy of course, but those little, those little things, sometimes the journey is fun in its own way. So I think it's sort of reminding you of that. And then that playfulness, that flirtiness. So your focus palm, you have the pot of gold. So to me, that being the single charm in your focus palm, it's just saying, keep your eye on the prize, stay focused. Um, but having said that, we've also gotten messages about like, enjoy the process and be optimistic, stay optimistic. Don't let other people's opinion about what this is that you want to do, your goal, um, or fear, you know what, it could even just be fear of other people's opinions. People will have opinions no matter what. Literally, no matter what, you cannot win over everyone. It's actually impossible. So don't stress your out, yourself out and try. It's just one of those things. So if you are following your dream, if you are doing something that makes you happy and it's good and it's, it's, it's something that you're passionate about, don't let someone, the fear of what someone else is going to think stop you, okay? This is your life, okay? And you have to enjoy it. So that's the message here. Don't be discouraged. Like things, the road isn't always easy to get there, but let's try and enjoy certain moments of it. And then you also have that romantic message about flirtiness and playfulness. But overall, stay strong. You've got that strength card. You've got that three of wands promising possible unexpected rewards, things like that. And then you also had the message of something coming from overseas. It could even just be a package that you've been waiting for because these are general readings. For some of you, it could be something big. And then for other people, it could just be you receive a package you've been waiting for as far as that three of wands goes. So I would love to hear if this resonates, if this made sense. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you Speaker next three. So if you chose the dreams card and the waning gibbous moon, then this is your message. So you can start thinking of a question you might want to ask the pendulum, a yes or no question, and you can ask it in regards to the answers that we get, whatever you feel comfortable with. And we also have the charms and the letters, and I'll read to you the waning gibbous message in just a moment. Got lots of oracle cards to work with. The last group had a love message come out in the charm, so I pulled out my 
romance angels, but we'll see what's going to come up. We have no idea. This is just an important message right now from the universe. So let's see. This one. Judgment. Ten of Swords. Two more. Two of Wands. Eight of Cups. Okay. Okay, group three. So I'm already today just picking up on the vibe that we're getting. So let's get you a few Oracle cards to go with this. Group three. This is a Queen of the Moon Oracle. So the cards today are moon themed. I've got self reflection. Get you the flowers of the night oracle. Okay, so you've got restore and motivation came out with it. And lastly, we'll get to a monology. And then I'll explain to you what your message is. So you've got your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so group three. We'll get to your charms and your pendulum in a second. So the ten of swords being there is sort of the vibe that I was getting here. So I'm seeing that you are currently or maybe recently have sort of hit a bit of a almost feeling of like rock bottom. You're feeling defeated. It's like, oh, oh gosh, like this has been difficult, um, which is something that we all experience at different times in our life. But this is the thing. What the question was today is what is important for you to know? So this isn't predictive. This is just telling you what it's important for you to know right now. So the important thing to know is, is that once you've reached that 10 of swords, that's the, the 10, that's the completion. It's over. It's now done with. Um, and you, you do have cards here talking about new renewal, new starts. You've got the ace of cups, which is new beginnings and feeling more emotionally open. You've got the two of wands, which is being hopeful for the future and foresight planning for the future, which makes sense with motivation and your dreams need a practical plan. So I see that you're in a very future focused mindset, which is excellent because I don't know, that, that's me. I, I think it's important to keep looking ahead. You've got restore. So I think you're feeling, or you will soon be feeling restored, but there is something that you're leaving in the past. It's calling for you to acknowledge, like, what do you need to leave behind? So the eight of cups is all about walk, like moving ahead, following your, your calling. And what's super interesting is you have the judgment card, which is referred to as the calling. It's the calling card. Um, so with self-reflection as well, this is what I like to do. You guys know me, I like to connect the cards because this is the best part. This is the magic. So self-reflection, waning gibbous, that's the, that's the moon you picked. So you have a heavy waning gibbous moon theme. And the key with the waning gibbous moon is release. It's letting go. So this release message with eight of cups it's calling for you to release this and this can be painful this can bring tears this is what you went through um but just know a that you're not alone and b that you can always keep moving forward so this is what i'm getting here today. and the cards want you to know that this is what's important the cards want you to move ahead leave something in the past that wasn't fulfilling whether this be a job or a person or something someone said or a disappointment of a perceived failure whatever the case may be this is a general reading guys so it's going to be very different for each of you but the basic message i'm getting here is you are being called to answer to that inner calling right now and maybe that's why you picked the dream card but we have that theme with the waning gibbous moon. This is really important. And that's all about release. With the eight of cups, there's a heavy, heavy release that's happening or needs to happen. So back to judgment here. That's all about the self-reflection. That's what this is about, is that, that deep self-analysis or self-reflection about what do I want? What would make me happy? 
Um, so that could have to do with the Ten of Swords scenario, but you have the Ace of Cups. So for me, being a silver lining, I'm, I'm in the silver lining mode right now. This is a new beginning, okay? So the Ace of Cups is a new start. And it's a feeling of renewal, that fresh start. You've got Two of Wands, which again is asking you to look ahead, plan for something for the future. And exactly what your monology card said was, your dreams need a practical plan. So maybe right now you have an idea of what you want, but it's asking for you to actually put a practical plan into action so that you can make it happen. And this might help bring about this motivation that this card talks about. So it's wanting you to be motivated for the future and maybe right now you're not feeling that, but you will, okay? You, you saw the cards come out. This, you will feel that again. So with restore as well. So you're going to feel restored. And I would actually like to read to you specifically this card, but motivation. Okay, so you are going to feel that motivation. So keep planning ahead and this will help you leave whatever this is in the past, okay? I think a lot of you, maybe it's a career change that you're going through. All sorts of different scenarios um, that that could be talking about. So let's read to you restore because I think... I like this message, so let's see here. And I think it's restoring your faith as well. Restoring, there it is, okay. So Rain Lily says, a change for the better is coming and opening up to new possibilities. Ace of Cups, see this is why I wanted to read this too. You are right in the path of benefit. Things are moving now and the direction is changing in your favor but you must be prepared to compromise a little. So your dreams need a practical plan. The timing may not exactly be to your liking, um, but the outcome will be extra worth waiting for, or oh, sorry, extra worth any extra waiting or work on your part. Cleansing and a change in the way you might have approached things in the past are needed. This is not a frantic pouring, but a steady methodical and careful release to protect what is that you wish to retain? Balance needs to be found and kept. You can find ways to do this by looking at the cycles, which is interesting with the moon theme, that have put you where you are now. Challenges are overreaction and hastiness. And you know what? Ten of Swords can have a bit of that too because when we have a Ten of Swords moment, sometimes we want to sort of stay there because we don't want to have it happen again. But the key is to acknowledge that, yes, this this felt very defeating, but you've got that Ace of Cups. I mean, that's, and just like this, you know, a change for the better is coming and opening up to new possibilities. That's Ace of Cups entirely. So your affirmation is, I welcome change while nurturing restoration. Keywords, restore, timings, cleansing, with the Eight of Cups, balance, change, overreaction. So I would love to know if these resonate and I'm really excited to see what your pendulum says. But yeah, you, you, it's just saying, you know, new beginnings are coming. You're in a, you're in a phase of self-analysis. You're in a phase of change and that is going to take you where you want to be. But if there's a key of like letting something go from the past. I think for a lot of you, it could just be perceived perceptions about yourself, even all sorts of different things with self-reflection. Maybe Maybe, like, what do you tell yourself over and over and over again? We've all been there, I promise you. So let's see what your pendulum says. <clears throat> okay, let's see, give your question. Oh, guys, sorry, it was caught here. So it was, that's why it was only going in that two directions. So I've got to stop it here. Okay. Do you have a yes? Okay. Okay, we'll look at your charms. Okay, and, and to those of you that helped me out with the letters, thank you so much in advance. You guys are awesome. You guys are so amazing and helping me with like phrases, words, and even like angel numbers, things like that. I'm very thankful for you guys. So we've got nine, nine, eight, six, four, twelve, and eleven. Okay. 
letters. Two nines there, so nine seems to be emphasized. Okay, so you've got two R's. Oh, my top coat's peeling off my nail. Sorry, guys. I've got T, two R's, E, another E. Y, H, O, I, P, O, M, A, U, and another E. So you've got three E's. Okay, so let's look at your charms. I didn't really end up using my little pointer today, but I haven't used that in a long time, so... love message. I got the message of you feeling a little overwhelmed. You've got thumbs up, so you're doing a good job, perhaps. You've got friendship. You've got a lot about friendship here, which is interesting. The candy corn, so that could be even talking about seasons. So Halloween season could be when something happens that, you know, your ace of cups moment or possibly, you know, all sorts of different things could be reflected in that. But you've definitely got sort of Halloween season, October, you know, September, October, November, perhaps, um, when something maybe starts to, to change, maybe when your plan starts to really sort of unfold, uh, when you start to feel more motivated or restored, possibly, all sorts of different things. So I'll just read them as a whole here, and then I'll, I'll point out what we have. So we've got, for words, we've got want, the word dream, friend, well, you've got a lot about friendship here. You've got three friendship charts. You've got the friend. This one's about sort of like having good times with friends, like laughing, fun, um, connecting. And this one's about friendship as well. You also have friends. We've got a lot about friendship today. You've got a little bit about romance. You've got a lot about overwhelming emotions with a little pot here. And with the hand, the cactus being there, could, you could interpret that in different ways. You could interpret that as being very guarded. Um, and I also think of the cactus as self-sufficient, trusting yourself, um, you know, having what you need. Uh, but you might take something different from cactus. So I always invite you to read with me as well. Um, I almost think of like a hard exterior, right? Sort of hide, because in a, you know, it's hiding um, perhaps emotion, something like that. You've got the three marbles. You've got the marble about intuition. You have one about creativity. And you have one that really emphasizes the whole idea of the eight of cups of like following your path, trusting your path. And you're right where you need to be, but to move ahead, you might have to leave something in the past. You might have to move on. You've got the barking dog, which means something is getting your attention. Something is calling your attention. So we could even go back to the judgment card with that. You know, there's an inner calling. And I really like this picture because they're sort of like entering a new phase. They're entering this door here. So that's interesting. Okay, you've got the wine bottle, which can be about celebration, but can, it can also represent um, vices, things like that as well. It depends on the reading. In this case, I'm sort of getting four of cups, or not four of cups, pardon me, four of wands celebration vibes. So let's get you a romance angels for this one, because this one talks about marriage and this one's sort of like the two of cups. And because we've got so much emotion in today's reading, for those of you interested in a love message, I'll pull you a romance angels. We'll see what comes up for you. And your perspective might change. This is the other thing. Sometimes when we're right in the thick of a problem, it's hard to see ahead. It's hard to really see why or why this happened. All, all sorts of things, but sometimes we just need to get away from it, separate ourselves from the issue or give something time and our perspective might shift. You definitely have a lot about one-on-one -on -one bonding time. So I'm going to get your romance angels. Oops, falling out of my hand here. So group three. So you've got chemistry. I'll get you one more here. Group three. 
very soon. Okay, so you will experience chemistry with someone very soon perhaps. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And then you have, there's a strong magnetic attraction. So you are feeling connected to someone with the chemistry, especially you're feeling connected to someone, um, bonding with someone, sharing with someone. This could be a friend too, right? It doesn't have to be romantic. This is very much one-on-one -on -one time talking, um, bonding with somebody. So very, very nice, especially like it's very lighthearted and fun. It could be encouraging you to talk to a friend, talk to someone, um, that might just be there to listen to you even, you know, just sometimes it's nice to talk things out. So I hope you enjoyed this group three. Um, just know, I mean, you trust the cards that you've got. You've got restore, you've got motivation, you've got that eight of cups, you know, you're headed where you need to be, but you have to make that choice for yourself too. So your dreams need a practical plan. Maybe now is a good time to start writing down what you want, where you want to be. But I believe in you. I hope you have an amazing day. I would love to hear if this resonated and what words you got. And we'll see you soon.